a view as well. I guess this software is actually doing something. I have this turned off for the time being. I have this on all night. Just uh, you're supposed to give them a good charge. I reckon what they say, I think 13 hours, I think they reckon. Give them a good charge, then let them sit for 10 minutes, then they sulfate. So I'll do it properly by the book this time. Now this one, for some reason, it measured 470 cold quake connects out of 430. This one's 505 out of 600. So this one, this one and this one improved the, the best. That one, and that one are the worst. Next one is that one, then this one. This is better. That one's not as good. That one's bad. This one's the worst. I was hoping this would, this would come good, but I think you just had an absolute googling. Yeah, it's been caned a lot. It's been uh, starting a bloody motor. It's been that old red van, that motor had um, bucket carvy. Had a lot of cranking and cranking and cranking, and yeah, that wasn't good for it. It's only a little 480 called cranking it, but this battery here's had pretty much the same abuse, and it's recovered better than the Aussie made battery. The proudly Philippine made. The only problem with these batteries, though, they seep acid everywhere and they short themselves out, so they need lots and lots of maintenance. Anyway, I'm quite pleased that that's got some good batteries, so I'll try and maintain them with this every now and then. As you always well, done some more scrounging in my meter collection here. I've discovered more meters I don't really uh, didn't know I had in this stash. Some email, this is a little email, Ampy email meter in 2007. Got a couple of those. Another two of those are terminal covers. You can see I've got the front cover of one of these meters off the uh, other scrap box. Now if I can seal this up properly, seal it all up, I reckon I can uh, put a fly back and mineral oil in there. Hmm, make good enclosures. Got more, I've got three of these. There's more in there, there's ABB and Enemet, another couple of EDMI meters in there. This meter here. Some more of these little single phase ones. There's one of these in there, it's just error on reading. It's actually physically got something wrong with it, they couldn't get the, uh, the um, final reading off it, so if I find that one, that's going to get the PFC capacitor. We'll uh, thump that one and see what happens. Yeah. These are pra practically useless because I um, hook these up and I can't even get a... They won't, up, they won't update the reading for some reason. They're like a smart meter. They'll update the reading probably every half an hour or something like that. You want to actually show the power of being advanced in real time. So, so these, as well as these, have uh, super capacitors in there. I've got bloody heaps of these things. I'll probably keep one or two of each, one of one of the, one of the time switch and one of the meter version of this. The red ones of these are um, time switches only. But these have um, 2 point, uh, 0.22 farad super capacitors in them. Now if I get them all out of these, we'll scrounge all these for parts, so I can make a pretty good uh, iPod charger with those capacitors because they're five and a half volts at 0 0.22 farads. So five of those should get me a farad. There's a bloody heaps of these meters, so yeah, get some good uh, goodies out of them. Hmm, let's see what's inside this meter in particular. It's kind of heavy and chunky for its little small compact size. 2007, what's that? It's about, oh, it's about six years old, this thing. It's already taken out of service. EMV. Yeah, let's open this video up. This is in the worst condition, so it had something dropped on it. Let's open it up and see what the, what the circuitry is like in this one. Even though I said before, they're all pretty much the same inside, no matter what make or model they are, but I can see already, this also has a, um, linear, oops, a linear transformer in it. Interesting. You see, take an ultra capacitor, or super capacitor, 5.5 volt, point one oh farads. It smells like a bloody hospital in there. It smells like a bloody hospital ward in this. It's got that smell to it, for some reason. It's a seal there. Then a backup battery as well as that capacitor. I'm going to clip this uh, main board out. Got a good source of uh, transformers out of these meters, that's for sure. There we 
are. All the brains that are made are in there. And I'm also the rear life for boost. Yep. That clicks when you hold the boost button down. And for email metering, AM 1200 series. And we've got a Nippon Chemical LXL series uh, capacitor. 25 volt, 4700 microfarads. Let's see. It's quality 40 volt auxiliary, 14 volt. Secondary, 8.5 volts. Mustard regulator. Yeah, not much inside this. Ramtron. Mustard, uh, yeah, don't know. That's the brains and then there'll be the memory, the RAM and everything for it. The quartz of the clock. Another little, uh, turn the bloody light on. What's that one? Another top of the little, uh, thing about it there. 105 degrees Celsius threaded capacitor. Those smart meters I called out before, those lettuce and guy E350s only had 85 degrees Celsius threaded capacitors. And these have much higher rated capacitors uh, built to last longer. And these smart, the actual smart meters I've got now are, there's hall sensors in there. If I pull this off, have a look what's behind there. So this is a hall sensor type meter. Gruner brand relay. And there's your, that's for your boost for your hot water. It goes off there and connects in through here to your hot water. 40 amp to 50 volt AC. 12 volt DC coil. So you've got one that pulls it, pulses it one way, turns it off, and one that pulses it the other way, turns the relay on. And there's a little uh, hole sensor, I think, or something here. So there's wires that solder under there. Interesting. That's it. They just solder on those bits of metal, and the meter just picks up the actual current being used through that. I've also noticed there's like a fuse here. Hey, that's weird. This one's actually got a fuse in it. So the current goes in phase in, neutral in, neutral out. Hang on, that'll be a short. Um, okay, that powers a meter up. Neutral in there. Where are we here? Oh, here we are. Here's a wiring diagram in here. It's a bit different on this one. Active in. That one, that one there. Neutral goes in there. So your neutral goes there, and neutral goes to that one, and neutral out. In this case, load, I mean. Yeah, this one is a bit different. But actually, look how it's wired. It's actually physically different. You put new active and neutral in, or be short of that, so. Interesting how it's got that there, though. That must have some sort of fuse. 100 amps, I don't see that will take, I don't see how that little thing that will take 100 amps, maybe not for long. I guess this meter's um, current limited, so if someone tries to pull more than 100 amps on it, that thing there will blow, and that's it. Interesting, interesting. That's the first meter I've come across that's actually got that. But these are kind of interesting. These are bits of copper, and they pick up through there, and pick up the, um, pick up how the uh, current's being sensed. There's like a little uh, tracer on there. Little, little bridge rectifier. Hmm. I don't know, they're not even hall sensors, they're just bits of bloody copper sold to uh, steel. That's really interesting. Hmm, and picks it up through here. Interesting how these work. Pretty well made bit of kit. Reassembled and powered back up. Two hundred forty-two point nine volts. What? Two hundred sixty-eight point one volts maximum. Thirteen fifteen. That's not the time. And then for the nine, there's a the nine. That's not the right date. Thirty-one point eight. Probably thirty-one point three six amps maximum measured on that one. Hmm. I didn't have a two fifty volts um, anymore. I only got 240 volts now on the line. I must have turned it down. That's a uh, switch two is not used. Load for boost is obviously that one here. 
So if I put my multimeter on there, we'll test what comes out, see if it actually is working. There they off. Yeah, you go, that's my line voltage now. I did have 250 now, it's gone down to that. Offline. Hold both those down. Yeah, it confuses it. Ripple. Two six hundred and one kilo whatever. Three seven hundred and eight kilo whatever total. Four thousand twenty nine kilo whatever total on that one. Yeah, different rates on it. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. And neutral out and boost. Boost is off. So I was picking up that. Now to turn the boost on. There we are. Sending power through that relay, through that, which goes to your hot water service. Gives you some extra hot water. 247 on that one. That one says 243.9. There's some differences there. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, this is right. Oh, that's right. I don't know what to believe. Gee, the bloody measurements aren't all accurate on these meters, that's for sure. Anyway, that's enough testing and rambling for now. Thanks for watching.